It's time for an updated Bitdefender review. It's a veteran provider that you will find on almost every best antivirus list. But how good is it really in 2024? As per usual, I will review this contender for the best antivirus in various categories, such as ease of use, features, pricing, and security, which includes my freshly baked tests. Let's begin with ease of use. I'll show you the Windows app first. To be honest, the installation wasn't the quickest, but it's nothing difficult. Just a few clicks here and there, quite a standard process. After launching the app, I was met with a pleasant to the eye user interface, which is easy to use. Everything is neatly organized within sections that make sense. And there are no pop-ups like with Norton Antivirus app. Mac apps are very straightforward as well, but I've got bad news for iOS users. On the iPhone app, I found a vulnerability scanner, a data breach checker, browsing protection, and a very restricted VPN. Yep, that's about it. Yet, when it comes to the Bitdefender for Android app, it's a different story. It packs all the features I need, and I can start a scan with a single press. Having good compatibility and easy to use apps is great, but any antivirus first and foremost should provide security. So let's continue with the Bitdefender security review and find out can you trust Bitdefender? In the most recent AV comparatives tests, this antivirus achieved an advanced plus rating in protection. It's not surprising though. It had a very consistent performance in the past too. That said, I like to conduct my own tests as well. So I intentionally planted 10 malicious files onto my PC and then initiated a full scan with real-time protection disabled. The scan was complete in roughly 11 minutes and detected eight out of the 10 threats. Decent, yet not perfect results. What I really did like though, was that it didn't put excessive strain on my computer resources. But how do these Bitdefender test results compare with other best antivirus 2024 providers? I recently ran tests with TotalAV, Surfshark, Norton, and some others. No other provider managed to catch all 10 malicious files either. Eight out of 10 was the best score, which means Bitdefender was among the best. Now, some other providers ran the scan quicker, but all of them had higher CPU usage. By the way, if you decide to get Bitdefender, you can get a really good discount by scanning the QR code or by clicking on the link in the description. All right, so the full scan works quite well, but there are other scan options as well. Beyond those, I stumbled on several noteworthy security features. One of those is advanced threat defense. Sounds robust, doesn't it? Well, it's just a real-time protection tool, which is a great first line of defense. I recommend keeping this on at all times. You are less likely to get malware on your device if you do, but also will have to run full scans less frequently. Since we're already looking into scans, there's also a vulnerability scan. This feature doesn't scan for malware though. Instead, it looks for weak passwords, outdated applications, and drives. It's all great, except when it tells me to update my windows as if I need another reminder. Now, if you go with the Bitdefender Total Security Bundle, you'll also get a ransomware mitigation tool, which I use to create backups of my most critical files. While the Bitdefender app has plenty of additional features, I'll focus on my favorite ones to keep things simple. Many top antivirus providers in 2024 are trying to attract users with their cybersecurity bundles, and Bitdefender is no exception. Notably, there is a VPN and a password manager making it a convenient option for ensuring privacy while browsing and managing all online accounts with one tool. I was happy with what I got with Bitdefender Password Manager. It's very simplistic and doesn't have any extras really, but it gets the job done. On the other hand, my enthusiasm quickly faded when I checked out Bitdefender VPN. With the basic antivirus plan, there's a 200 megabyte data limit, which could easily be depleted in a single browsing session. To fully unlock the potential of this tool, Opting for the premium version is necessary. But even if you do, there are better VPN options on the market. It's much slower than most premium VPNs, plus it logs some user data, which can be alarming for privacy conscious users. Is it worth the investment? Well, at the same price point, alternatives like Surfshark or NordVPN offer a faster and more capable VPN. But the basic limited version of Bitdefender's VPN serves as a solid starting point to explore the benefits of VPN usage. Besides, Bitdefender is an antivirus first, unlike NordVPN and Surfshark. Even though I don't use Bitdefender VPN, it has plenty of additional features that make Bitdefender worth it. For instance, I keep the webcam and microphone protection on at all times, and I do recommend that you do the same. 
Webcam Filter notifies me if any webcam or microphone is accessed by apps or websites, providing control over accessing permissions. I also get use out of the anti-tracker feature when I'm browsing, which prevents malicious scripts from harvesting my data. Moreover, the file shredder option has become a favorite for how practical it is. It serves a crucial purpose in preparing my device for sale or transfer to someone else. Bitdefender employs a specialized algorithm during this process, overwriting the data and ensuring it's not gonna get recovered. It's also good to use the system optimization tool at least every couple weeks to get rid of all kinds of junk files. Actually, there is another way how Bitdefender helps me optimize my device. It's no secret that antivirus software can sometimes disrupt performance, leading users to disable it. That, of course, leaves their devices vulnerable. To avoid that, Bitdefender employs a profile system with preset settings that adapt to your current conditions, optimizing computer performance. There are several modes, such as work profile, which limits background scans to minimize system impact, and the movie profile, which postpones notifications and alerts. This ensures a balanced approach to both security and performance. Just a side note, but if you like this Bitdefender review, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more up-to-date cybersecurity content. All right, Bitdefender Antivirus has plenty going for it, but if you look at the plans, it might get confusing. Many plans with many differences. So which one should you pick? Let's start with the Bitdefender free version, which is available for Windows users. It works well as a very basic antivirus option and is ideal for those looking to test the service. I can't say it's a good long-term solution as it lacks additional tools, ransomware protection, and is limited to use on a single device. For Windows users, there are the Antivirus Plus and Bitdefender Internet Security plans, offering additional features, although performance optimization tools are notably absent. Lastly, the go-to choice for me and many others is the Bitdefender Total Security plan. It remains a highly affordable option, particularly when taking advantage of special discounts. Luckily, I have a hefty one. To get it, just scan the QR code or use the link in the description. It provides excellent value, protecting up to five devices and delivering all the necessary features without emptying your pockets. So, is Bitdefender safe and should you get it? Overall, as an antivirus, Bitdefender stands as a formidable contender, whether you're a beginner or an experienced user. It offers user-friendly navigation, robust protection against diverse malware, and substantial value through its useful features. While I wish there was more of a comprehensive iOS version and a slightly higher data limit on their VPN, overall, I can definitely recommend Bitdefender. If you enjoyed this Bitdefender review 2024, you might be interested in watching the video that's on screen next, where we compared Bitdefender to other top antivirus providers. That'll be all for me in this one. Stay safe.